Hola, hola, my name is Ramon, cosmetic formulator, esthetician, world traveler. I am in Seoul, South Korea. Arguably, I think one of my top two favorite places in the entire world. I'm here working on a super secret project. Stay tuned for that. But today's video is going to be me talking about how I pack and how I strategize what skincare I bring when I travel, especially when I am limited to a tiny one liter bag. If you've ever traveled through Europe, specifically any UK airport, specifically London Heathrow, I got a lot of beef with the security at London Heathrow. You know, they are very strict any liquid gels and creams have to be in a one liter bag that is able to seal i have had to throw away several many skincare products at any given point because of that but as you can see i've gotten very good at strategizing so let's talk about what i have in this bag what skincare hacks i use when i travel and what products really matter especially when it comes to all in one skincare part of this video is going to be done with my longtime collaborator sun bum where i'm going to be highlighting what sun bum products i brought with me and why what i will say is again multi-purpose is a huge element in this also, when it comes to travel skincare, this is what's going in my carry-on, so it's coming on the plane with me. This is stuff I actually use on the plane before I get off as well, so a lot of strategy goes into what I bring because I need to get off that flight looking fresh. What I will say as well is one big hack I have come to realize very recently, and I actually owe this to Alicia Lardy, fellow esthetician from the UK, is solids and powders don't have to go in this little bag. And that is important because powder cleansers, big lifesaver when it comes to traveling, like Tatcha, Kiso Care, and Human Race have really good powder cleansers. Put those in a little separate bag and those can just be separate from this bag. Another thing is if you have a solid product, I know sometimes we refer to certain types of products as cream products. So for example, a sun stick is technically solid. This is a color corrector from Lip Tinted, a solid, or even like my Fenty Match Sticks, like my Holy Girl Complexion products. Those can exist outside of the little one liter bag because while they're technically cream products, they are solid, so they don't actually qualify. So let's break down this bag. This is actually an Ikea one liter bag. If you go through Heathrow, they usually give you the little bags there, but I don't like those. So let's get started. Let's start with my on the plane skincare. The first thing I do with my skincare when I'm on the plane is right before we land, I take these. These are toner pads. These are reusable ones from Glow Recipe. I've soaked these in my cellar water and this gives me a quick little cleanse at the end of the flight as we're about to land so I could just refresh. I do this instead of a cleanse just because all I have on my face while I'm flying is generally just skin treatment, moisturizer, and sunscreen. So I'll do this and then I'll follow that up with the rest of my routine just to do a quick get ready with me before we land. Then after I do my cleanse, I'll go in and I'll hydrate my skin. Obviously, I've just been on plane. My skin is dehydrated. It's a little bit part it's irritated so when it comes to travel skincare all in ones are very important and that's why I'm gonna be highlighting this from Sun Bum this is the part of the video I'm doing in partnership with them this is the hydrating serum I've talked about this on my channel before but basically when it comes to packing multi-purpose skincare I look at what's gonna give me the most benefits in one simple product this is a hydrating serum obviously but it also features ingredients like niacinamide brown algae banana extracts and that's gonna give you those really nice soothing benefits hydration and obviously niacinamide is like skincare superstar it does everything it gives you some anti antioxidant benefits, helps with the appearance of pigmentation, skin moisturization. It also helps with redness as well. And then the brown algae and banana extract just kind of fortify some of those benefits as well. What I like about this is that it's a gel serum and it's very hydrating. This is very pillowy, very cushiony on the skin, but it gets your skin nice, juicy, and plump. So this, after I cleanse on the flight, just kind of resets my skin, which, I mean, after a 12-hour flight to Korea, it needs the extra hydration. And then I'll follow that up with a sunscreen. I brought the Beauty of Joseon one with me just because tried and true never failed me. And my makeup just just always goes on top of this like butter. And then once that's set, I go in with makeup. For makeup on the flight, I keep it very simple, very clean. And so what I do is I go in with the color corrector on my under eye. This is from Live Tinted. And then I follow it up with a concealer that matches my skin really well. And I'll just kind of dot this everywhere, blend it all over, and then re-go in where I need extra coverage. This is from Be Ready. This is their Be Magnetic Fitting Concealer in the shade four. And then I'll set that and I'm good. Some other stuff while I'm on the flight is obviously I have lip balm. This is from Sun Bum, their SPF 30 lip balm. And this one is just, it's actually what on right now. I use this because I like the way it looks on my lips. It's very glossy, leaves me looking very juicy. It's also SPF protection, so nice all-in-one product. And then a sun stick if you want to reapply while on the flight. This is a very special launch coming very soon, so I can't say a lot just yet, but I like this one specifically because it's compact. It goes in your pocket really easily, and this also leaves a nice satin matte finish on the skin, so if you have oily skin, this is a really good option so it doesn't leave you looking very greasy. So let's talk about everything else I have in this little bag, just because this is stuff that usually would last me a good three to six seven day trip. If it's over seven days, I'm checking a bag. I'm just gonna say that right now. So I'm bringing full size product. But within this, one of the most important things to me is deodorant. It's very crucial to pack deodorant. And especially living in Europe, I think everyone needs deodorant and I don't think everyone uses it. But this one is from Nivea. I was a very strict Old Spice person for many, many, many years. And then I bought this on a whim because I'm in Europe. And honestly, the deodorant selection in Europe is very interesting. I find sprays are very popular, like aerosol. And then the next option is roller, roller ball. I don't see a lot of like stick products. And 
so I saw this from Nivea and I decided to try it out. This is a game changer. This is their black and white and invisible original. It works, it works well, it's very heavy duty. I was doing a little toothpaste for the flight just to brush my teeth before I fall asleep and after I wake up before we land. But what's interesting is Korean Air and Asiana, which I flew this time to get to Korea, they give you like a little travel set that has like slippers and eye mask and a toothbrush and toothpaste. So sometimes it's not always necessary to pack one as well as mouthwash. This is from a brand CV12. I just pour this into a little dispenser because I don't like Listerine. I don't like scope travel sizes and the one that I like doesn't come in a small enough travel size for this little one liter bag. So that I will decant. And then aside from the beauty of Joseon sunscreen, one that I recently got in PR that I've been testing out is this one from the brand called Dune. Dune popped up, I believe on an ad for me on Instagram. And I like, I just like the packaging. The packaging was very cute. And I decided to reach out to the brand and they did send me PR. So this is PR. This is their The Mug Guard. I actually haven't used this very much. What I will say is that it leaves a finish that's very similar to me to the Biore Watery Essence. It's a lightweight gel. I'm not saying it's as light as the Biore Watery Essence, but this is also 40 minute water resistant, but it is an American sunscreen. So just note that. For cleanser, I have this one from Jordan Samuels. They have right now a little like holiday mini set. And so this is one of the ones that came in that. This is the Matinee Cream Cleanser. I've talked about that one on my channel that I really enjoy because it has like a really nice velvety, silky texture just due to like the clays and whatnot that he put in there. So this is really nice. And this doesn't foam, this doesn't lather. It's just a really nice cream cleanser. And I think this is a really good option if you have dry skin sensitive skin. Right now in Korea, it is freezing. It is winter, it is windy. So let's talk moisturization since we are talking about winter dry skin. When it comes to packing for this kind of situation, I obviously want to be compact and have something that's more multi-use. So I bring eye creams with me whenever I travel. This one is from Sunbum again. This is their hydrating eye cream. Simple to the point. This has niacinamide. Again, it has the brown algae and it has the banana extracts. So it's just a very simple to the point eye cream. And because it's so compact, I just put this all over my face when I need it. And so eye creams are very, very useful if you are traveling and you don't have a lot of space. This definitely does not take up a lot of space in a one liter bag. So that's my hack. Done that for years and it's been very handy. The texture of that eye cream is more gel, gel cream texture. It's very lightweight. It's nothing too heavy, but if you want something that's more occlusive, little balms, like skin protecting balms are really useful. This is from Live Tinted. It's their Unity Balm Plus Gloss. So it's multi-purpose, but basically this is something very similar to Petrolatum, Petroleum Jelly, AKA Vaseline. So I'll take a little bit of this over my moisturizer if I want extra moisturization to really lock that in. And also a really good lip balm as well. Another thing is when you travel, obviously travel sizes or product samples are very, very, very useful. I have these. These are from Dermatory. It's their Pro Trouble Pore Pads. I bought the full size package last time I was in Korea and it came with, I believe, like seven of these little travel things. And so I just put these in the little one liter bag whenever I do travel. It's really handy. These have 0.45% salicylic acid and centella. But usually what I end up doing anyways is I'll cut them in half and I'll place them on each cheek as a kind of makeshift leave-on exfoliating treatment. And these are basically just like toner pads. And then I have these. So these are little travel containers. I bought this in a little set. One of these has pomade. So like hair pomade just to help me style my hair, which is very important. And the other one has the Naturium Balm Cleanser, the ginseng one, just to help break down makeup and sunscreen and rinse that off. Just because I don't use a lot of balm cleanser. I prefer to travel with a balm cleanser than an oil cleanser. It's a lot less of a messy hassle. And therefore something that's this small is just really handy for this quick little trip. Perfect. One thing I always do, and I never pack it with me because I always buy it when I land, hairspray. A little travel hairspray. The minute I land and I'm at the airport at my destination, I will quickly go to a drugstore and restock on hairspray and usually a couple other things. Sometimes I forget Q-tips, sometimes I forget floss, sometimes I forget a little mini toothpaste if it's a short flight. So that's usually my land and go by routine. I'm very consistent in that. And the last two things in my bag. Number one, skin treatments. Obviously I have oily acne prone skin. Always deal with breakouts, especially after traveling. I'm a stressed out traveler. I hate traveling, I'm always so anxious stressed out and that always reflects in my skin so I do always break out but I try to prevent and then treat while I'm traveling. First thing I have is a sulfur treatment. This is the one from Naturium, their sulfur spot treatment 8%. The one from Jack Black is also very similar to this, like that one a lot. And then I don't know if Verse still has theirs but the Verse one was really good as well. Sulfur is just a really effective treatment for me that works very well. Usually what I'll do is I'll mix it in a moisturizer and I'll put it on my problem areas as a preventative step. If I have active breakouts I'll spot treat with that as well. But to me it's just a much more gentle option than benzoyl peroxide because sometimes benzoyl peroxide just dries me out and right now I, I can't have that. And then Tretz. If you guys have watched my channel, I've been talking about my Tret during the last six months now and how I had my prescription treatment from Dermatica. That one was Tretz, Clindamycin, and Niacinamide. Here's a tea. That worked great for me. My skin was in a really, really good spot, but my skin was still very dry. I was still peeling five, six months into treatment and I was still very dry. And I think that's a result of the Clindamycin and I was still very dry. I was still very peely several months into treatment. So recently my best friend 
friend went to Mexico and bought tried no one for me. This is 0.05% cream. Over there, you can just get it at a pharmacy over the counter, no prescription needed. So I was like, perfect. So this is just straight tretinoin, no clindamycin. And I've been using this now for like, what, a week or two? I'm not peeling, I'm not irritated, I'm not more dry than normal. And this is, I mean, it's a bigger tube, but it's not a huge tube, so this does fit easily in my one liter bag. And the last thing, this is a little atomizer, AKA a little travel fragrance thing. This is from the brand Penhaligans, which if you follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok, I talk about a lot. This contains the fragrance Halfetti Leather, which is my, one of my go-to, it's one of my favorites, top, top favorite Holy Grail fragrances. When you buy one of these from Penhaligans for three months, you can bring this and the receipt to Penhaligans and they'll just refill it for you for free. So I took advantage of that for a while, but it's also just a really handy travel like fragrance holder. What you do is that this pops open you put this on top of the fragrance and you just pump it like you would like you're spraying the fragrance and it fills it up. But it's so convenient, it's so easy to travel with and it's really, really cute. This I purchased, this is not PR. I purchased this, I purchased all my Penhaligans fragrances, but Penhaligans if you were watching. And so with that, that is what specifically goes in my little one liter travel bag. When it comes to other products like makeup and whatnot, as I mentioned earlier, powders in a whole separate bag, solid products in a whole separate bag. So I have foundation, my highlighter, my blush, my contour, my highlighter, all of my powders, all just exist mostly in pressed format because traveling with loose powder is also messy and those exist in a separate bag and my little like travel bag that's on me that has my passport in my wallet I always have a little pressed powder just to touch up with and then as I mentioned I'll always have my lip balm just to keep the lips nice and juicy on the flight I get as I mentioned as I'm stressed out when I travel I also just get very dehydrated very parched very just dry and so like hydration and all that stuff is very important for me on the flight but that is what I bring with me when I travel let me know down in the comment section do you have any travel hacks you find really handy do you use any of these similar products that I I do. How do you pack and manage to bring skincare with you when you travel, when you have a very limited amount you can bring with you? And once again, thank you to Sunbum once again for partnering with me for today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys. Bye.